look, you take on Australia, for example, it's probably the biggest example of multiculturalism in the world. It, this is a country built on multiculturalism. The only ones that always have a problem with settling the community and isolate themselves on their own is Islam. Martin Brennan is speaking to me from the Maribyrnong Immigration Detention Centre in Melbourne. He's the leader of the controversial Australian Defence League, or ADL. They've been planning a protest against Sharia law. We haven't actually got a problem with staff of um, Muslims. This is the concept that people have for the Australian Defence League, you see. We're just fighting against radical Islam and the implementation of Sharia law that certain Muslims are trying to bring into Australia. About a week ago, he was detained by the Immigration Department for a breach of his visa conditions. He claims he'd moved to dress, so didn't receive the forms he was meant to fill out. But he's calling conspiracy. Quite frankly, if I wasn't the leader of the Australian Defence League, I wouldn't be in this situation now, I wouldn't be here. They do want me out of the country with this rally coming up. And uh, they insist, it's got nothing to do with it, but um, as I said, I got in here last Tuesday, and then Wednesday, I, the police came came in um, and gave me a thorough interview about the Australian Defence League. I contacted the Immigration Department about Brennan's case. They said they can't comment on individual cases. However, if someone is unlawfully in the country, they have the right to detain and remove them. My treatment here as well has been absolutely awful. Um, it is 100% halal food. Um, I do not eat halal food for um, mainly religious reasons and moral reasons. Predominantly Muslims in here, and I'm, I feel I'm, I could be in danger, in grave danger, if one of them happened to go on an Australian Islamist site and see my face, because it is openly out there on quite a lot of Islamic sites. My face is quite easily recognisable. Yes, I could be in grave danger. The ADL is the Aussie chapter of the English Defence League a super right-wing street protest movement in the UK that opposes the spread of Islam, Sharia law and Islamic extremists. Brennan is also a member of them. The EDL are back in the press because they're mentioned several times in the sprawling manifesto published by Norwegian terrorist Anders Bering Brevik. He claims in his manifesto at one time he had over 600 EDL members as Facebook friends. An organisation such as the EDL has the moral high ground and can easily justify their political standpoints as they publicly oppose racism and authoritarianism. But he's not always complimentary of the EDL. He says protest is not enough. The EDL, although having noble intentions, are in fact dangerously naive. The EDL have distanced themselves from Brevik and posted on their site... There has been no official contact between him and the EDL. Our Facebook page has over 100,000 supporters and receives tens of thousands of comments each day. And there is no evidence that Brevik was ever one of those 100,000 supporters. But the group today reassessed their position, confirming Brevik did meet with EDL leaders in March last year, but was not a member of the organisation. But after thousands of people have already read Brevik's manifesto online, a few might be starting to notice a couple of strange inclusions. Online protest group Anonymous has called on internet citizens to destroy Brevik's legacy by creating ridiculous, altered versions of his text. Through Operation Unmanifest, the group hopes that eventually no one will be able to figure out which manifesto is the original. Some of the versions I've seen so far include several poo jokes, references to his mental state state, lolcats and Mario Kart instructions. We're not racist, we are just out there you know, looking after our future generations, our kids and our grandkids, because we don't want them growing up in a society like Europe. You know, my country now is an Islamic hellhole. England is literally finished, it's, it's been surrendered. But back at the Maribyrnong Detention Centre, Brennan is confident he'll be released in time for the anti-Sharia law protest on the weekend. Yeah, we're going for the formalities again now. Um, so hopefully it should be all in place and hopefully I should be out in time. Brenner has denied any links with Norwegian terrorist Anders Bering Brevik, but says while he doesn't agree with his violent solution, he does agree with many of his ideas, like banning the Quran. Absolutely, yes. Quran and the Habath should be banned because it is a book of hate. Or reclassifying Islam as a political party instead of a religion. It is an ideology. I believe it, um, it's not a religion. I actually do believe it's a wicked, evil cult. If you follow it by the book, then yeah, that is radical Islam and that is, that is true.